Alright, so as you can see here is the final result of the Ultra Boost Custom that I wanted to do with this leather Ultra Boost. If you guys are interested in buying the Ultra Boost itself or the oil-based uh, Sharpies or the finishing spray, check the link in the description. Uh, but it was a pretty easy process to do. Uh, honestly, it was fun to be able to create. Now I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's not your original concept and design idea. Well, I realized that there's a dude named Joshua, something that's been popular on um, the interwebs in the last year, creating the sketch and cartoon uh, sneakers. And actually, before that dude blew up, uh, my buddy Cam actually from Portland was doing that same concept. And I had him do this uh, cartoon sketch look to a pair of my uh, Dunk Luxes. And I, I mean, he killed it. It looks really, really good. It's a great uh, look to the shoe, especially in all white shoe. Like it just makes it look super crazy. Uh, but then as soon as after this came out, there was a lot of controversy there because it was like who did what first and whose original design concept, whatever it was. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. I still like the look of the concept regardless of who should get the credit for um, creating it. I'm just the one that wanted to make it happen on this Ultra Boost specifically. It was a perfect vessel for this type of a custom because of the leather upper. I really, really like this shoe. Like the leather quality is super, super premium on uh, the Ultra Boost and it's such a bizarre and unique and awesome feeling to have leather uh, instead of primate on the shoe. Now some people are just not about that. They, they just want their primate. Totally get that. The primate is really good also, especially for summertime and everything else. But it's nice to have some variety. As I mentioned in the unboxing of the Ultra Boost, to me, it's gonna be a timeless silhouette. It's gonna be pretty much like uh, the Air Max One is. The, and I know those are bold statements to say because the Air Max One has been around for over 30 years. But uh, 33 years or whatever it is uh, this year. It's crazy. But this is still really, really a, a solid uh, silhouette. And we've had a lot of shine and a lot of cool things come with the Ultra Boost. But this, to me, shows me that there is another avenue that they haven't even explored yet. The fact that they can do different things with the same similar shape of the upper and do leather and do waterproof materials and all these other things. Uh, but I love the results of these. Leave some comments and some uh, likes on the video if you guys like the final results. Honestly, there's a couple of things that I would do differently if I was just to start fresh, which I may be doing. I might wanna buy, I actually wanna buy two more pairs of these to customize because I really wanna do a 3D look with, and by that I mean having the blue and the red lines like offset so it looks just kind of like a, a 3D glasses sort of look. But I also wanna do colored panels, like maybe, I mean there's, sky's the limit really, there's so many different things you can do uh, to this. One of the things I would do differently though is around the cage, I did some lines. Uh, on the back of the shoe and really not a good idea because when I'm actually wearing the shoe it stretches out differently and so the lines don't line up perfectly. I should have just done around the piping of the um, the cage and that would have actually accented things much much better. So I would have redone the cages and, and the backdrop of the cage. The only other thing that I would probably change and this is something where it just takes me learning how to do this is the laces with that oil based sharpie just doesn't hold perfectly. I need to find a better like fabric marker or something like that that will be permanent and not bleed uh, because those are the only things that bleed a little bit. The upper actually is perfectly fine and it doesn't bleed. Once you hit it with that finishing spray, like it's solid on here and it doesn't rub off. Like I actually wore these an entire day and they came out perfectly. So I'm really happy with the results. I love the fact that it didn't have to be perfect. It could just look like a sketch. I messed up on some spots and it just kind of goes with the theme of the shoe. But um, all in all, like I'm a big fan of this look and um, I would love to do it with some different colors. But I'd also like you guys' suggestions in the comment section, like what can I do to make um, another pair of these, I guess, like unique, like the 3D look, like I was saying. Do you have any inspiration and any comments and ideas? Drop them in the, in the comment section. And if uh, it gets enough thumbs up, I might buy a pair and try to do your, your idea. Uh, because these are expensive, they're $200 at retail, and I haven't seen any on sale yet. They haven't been selling out, but 
the two hundred dollar price point is pretty firm. Like I've tried to use coupon codes and they won't work on these shoes, unfortunately. So uh, waiting it out. Hopefully we can find another pair. But uh, big shout out to Adidas for sending me a pair of these, man. Really, really appreciate it because now I was able to do something that I had a concept of uh, from when I first saw the shoe and. They came out pretty good in my opinion, but the one thing I wanted to address was if you saw the fail in the middle of the thing with the huge dollop of black ink on the tongue, that was like terrible. I mean, so that was my fine point Sharpie and it just was defective. Like it was just leaking black ink everywhere. So definitely spot test your stuff on a napkin or something before you start actually putting the pen to the canvas here because otherwise you can have some problems with that. But but yeah, man, that's the, the custom. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you guys liked the video uh, and you guys want more of my sneaker content, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And uh, I hit 500,000 subscribers recently. Shout out to you guys for subscribing. Much appreciate you guys. Uh, but um, there's a lot of you guys that watch the videos that don't subscribe. So like it's secret. Nobody's going to know. Just hit that subscribe button. And then notification bell if you want to be notified. And I also wanted to call out that the only reason why I'm doing this face-to-face -face part at the end of the video is because I pulled you guys on my unboxing video as well as on Twitter. And a lot of people said, do the recap and the details at the end of the video. Um, want to understand your concept. And because of your guys' comments, I'm here doing this um, for you guys. So, yeah, I'm listening when I can. When I, when I can actually listen and actually react, it's the best thing possible. But it's hard to do when I have um, two kids, full-time job. You guys know the rest. But thank you guys again for watching uh, more videos very soon. Peace, guys.